I recently made a copy of Stuart Coffin's Improved Square Face Puzzle, uh, which you see here. Um, this is a, a great design that's been around a while. First time I've actually made one myself. Um, it is made up of a diagonal burr, which I think most of us are familiar with. This is made of six bars. These bars are continuous, and all six of them are the same. And they slide apart on a diagonal axis, uh, very similar to many of Stuart Coffin's puzzles. Um, and then added to the diagonal burr are 12 of these blocks, which are cut off square on one end and notched at a 45 degree angle um, on the other end. And these 12 blocks fit down in all the spaces between, just like that. Um, so there are three different places that it can be glued. It could be glued to the one, the piece below, the piece on the left or the piece on the right. And Stuart did a great job with all of his puzzles, working through all the permutations to make sure that all six pieces are dissimilar and non-symmetrical, um, included coordinate motion in this um, particular case. And it's a, it's a really great design, one that I've uh, been meaning to make for a long time and finally took the opportunity to do so. So I uh, enjoyed this improved square face puzzle. And then as I was making it, I had an idea to uh, modify the ends of each of these pieces. And when I did that, I came up with this puzzle which was kind of a surprise. Um, believe it or not, this is the exact same puzzle as the improved square face, except that I've modified the ends of the, um, the pieces. So I guess the easy way to visualize this is to think of the diagonal burr again. The maple bars here would be these bars, except that I've cut them off on, a, on an angle to make a point. And then instead of adding the blocks that are cut off on, uh, on a square, I modified those blocks as well and cut them off on an angle. This is the same 45 degree cut that um, most of Stuart Coffin's building blocks uh, have, have on those. And then added those in such a fashion as they slope away from the center like this. Uh, you, can see, uh, you can see it come together. So I was really surprised with the shape. There are a number of faces that have the six petals, uh, six petaled flower if you will. Um, alternating colors, uh, if you change the, um, the woods for the uh, additional blocks, uh, kind of makes a Mitsubishi pattern here. And then there are six faces that uh, come together in a, a square, sort of a looking uh, tulip flower here, uh, or similar to, to that. Um, but it was a really uh, exciting puzzle to see it take shape. I knew that when I made this modification that it would come out looking like a star-shaped puzzle of some kind, but I wasn't exactly sure what it was going to look like, and as I got closer to having all 12 blocks uh, glued on, uh, I, I remember having this wow moment, um, seeing this thing take shape. Um, I was really surprised with the shape. So I'm not going to take this apart uh, on the video because that would be a spoiler for the square face puzzle and for this modification. Um, I, I am ha pretty happy with this um, shape, and I think I will make some more of these puzzles in the future, so I don't want to spoil it here. But again, um, I want to emphasize that this is exactly the same puzzle as the square face. I just simply modified the uh, shape of the ends of the pieces, and uh, that was really pretty simple to do um, once I was set up to cut, up, cut out the, uh, the additional blocks. That required an extra jig that I've been putting off for a while. That's the only reason I haven't made one up until now. But I hope you enjoyed the video um, and uh, possibly look forward to uh, seeing interest in um, making some more of these uh, for sale uh, in the future. Thanks for watching.